welcome to all today we will be discussing on the topic renaissance the word renaissance is a french word it is a french word which english meaning is first is revival second is rebirth and the third meaning is rejuvenation these are the english meaning of this french word renaissance a, a historian a french historian jules uh, miquelet used this word for the first time jules miquelet used this renaissance for the first time it began in uh, it began in 14th century it began in 14th century in italy italy is the birthplace it began in italy and in italy it began in 14th century in italy and it spread to and spread to and it has spread to of all over all over european countries countries till 16th century So it began in Italy during 14th century and spread to all European countries till 16th century. It this uh, renaissance is, is we can say that it was a paradigm shift. It was a para then shift. Paradigm shift in the history of English literature it means that the usual way of thinking usual way of thinking thinking is changed it's changed so we can say that this is a renaissance is a paradigm shift because the usual way of thinking is changed during this renaissance in in england and now we can also say that this was a gigantic leap gigantic this was a gigantic leap why renaissance is a gigantic leap it is a gigantic leap because many important works in literature it is created important works is created in literature not only in literature but in science in other other subjects in uh, different fields this renaissance in the the period of renaissance it was a great it was a gigantic leap These people are blindly following the old tradition the trend of questioning the trend of questioning the trend of questioning is start during the renaissance during the renaissance before renaissance the people are blindly following the old tradition the orthodox uh, tradition they are blindly following but in during the renaissance there is a trend of questioning has started people start questioning quest was the hallmark of the renaissance means people want to know everything in uh, during every field so the quest is the hallmark of the renaissance there are many ism which uh, there are many ideology ideology which help to build which help to build this uh, renaissance first is realism second is humanism 
and the third is vernacularism. Rism. These are the main ideology which help to make this renaissance happen. This realism, humanism and vernacularism, individualism, these are the main ism which help uh, which make this renaissance possible. These are the ideology we can say. People start examining, people start examining every established belief through the different ideology. During medieval period means before this renaissance, the authority of knowledge is in the hand of church. Means church, the people of church is at the high pedestal. According to uh, them, the uh, uh, Bible is tra translated. They translate Bible according to their indulgence. So the authority of knowledge is in the hands of church during this medieval period. The supernatural elements, super natural elements supernatural elements are dominating the literature and, uh, and another field before this renaissance in medieval period before this renaissance the world is theocentric theocentric means what this this is uh, the world is centered theocentric means this uh, the world is centered towards the god in medieval period, the world is theocentric, but during Renaissance, the world is homocentric. Homocentric means what? Uh, homocentric means centered towards human being. It means that in uh, medieval period, the religion is is the centered in the center, but during uh, Renaissance, the reason is centered, and religion is centered during this medieval period. In the uh, Renaissance, the reason is centered. Pico della Mirandola was a uh, philosopher, philosopher and a scholar, a scholar uh, uh, in Renaissance. He wrote the Oration of the Dignity of Man in 1400, 1486. Erasmus praise of folly, uh, Erasmus wrote the praise of folly, and the Matteo on Civic of Life. These all works are centered on human being. These writer of the Renaissance, Erasmus, uh, Matteo Palmieri. All the writers, Shakespeare, Christopher Marlowe, all the writers are doing what? They all are exploring the human potential, human dignity on the earth.